Hello everybody and welcome to the showdown for the season 6 of the Pesky Marvel Championship. There's four events will include all the teams that did not qualify for season 6 including three new teams. The Saw Sharks, the Phoenix Force, the Beach Balls, and the return of Team Prism. We start off with the Hurdles, the seventh event in the season 6. And who will show that they should have made it even though they missed out. On to Heat 1, the Infernos, Fruity Flyers, Icebreakers, and the Battle Bees. And they're off. Icebreakers out to the early lead. On to the final hurdle, they will cruise to the win, and the Infernos will get second. They had a really good jump out of the gate, the Icebreakers did. And on to the final hurdle, they had a great turn. So did the Infernos, and both of them will advance. Igloo earning a 5.17, that's a pretty good time. On to the next heat. Phoenix Force, the new team, the Gilded Glitters, the Purple Swirls, and the Yellow Jackets. They're off. Phoenix Force with a good start. And the Purple Swirls down to the end, they're going to get the win. Good second and third length for the Purple Swirls. Violet, their second member, got a good jump over these hurdles. Phoenix Force held on to second, barely over the Yellow Jackets and the Gilded Glitter struggling as always. On to hit three, the Team Rainbow, the new team, the Beach Balls, Team Prism, and Team Terra. And they're off. Yep, the Team Rainbow is out to the early lead, and they're gonna destroy the rest of the field. Team Terra will come second. What a surprising result from Team Rainbow. They haven't done much in a while. And Team Terra, after firing their coach, get the win in the heat. Or get second. Yellow will get the win. Heat 4, Caramel Collider, the Shadow Runners, the Orange Angels, and the captain of the new team, the Shaw Sharks. Shadow Runners out to the early lead. Orange Angels are challenging, but they're not going to get there. And the Shadow Runners will beat them to the line. Shadow Runners had a great start out of the gate. And they almost lost it to the Orange Angels, but just holding it on to the end. Very close for third place, too. Shaw Sharks cannot get it going. And we will move on to the semifinals. See so a look at the stadium. Very packed for the showdown. Seeing all these teams compete. As we're going to semifinal A. Orange Angels, Phoenix Force, Team Rainbow, and the Icebreakers. They're all neck and neck to the final. And it's going to be the Team Rainbow getting the win. Just barely. They're all neck and neck and neck going through these hurdles. And the final one, Team Rainbow just had more than everybody else. And Igloo will barely beat out the rest for the advancement. Semi-final B, Team Terra, Shadow Runners, Infernos, and the Purple Swirls. And they're off. Shadow Runners again with a good start. Infernos in second. They're clawing and they can't get there. Shadow Runners get the win. Barely over the Infernos, but both of them will move on to the finale. This old neck and neck here. Purple Swirls challenge for third, but they don't get there. It'll be the Shadow Runners and the Infernos going on to the finale. So, who wins the gold in the first event? Team Rainbow, the Icebreaker, Shadow Runners, or the Infernos? And they're off. Shadow Runners with a really quick start. Can anybody catch them? Icebreaker challenging. But nobody's going to be close. The Shadow Runners get a gigantic win over the rest of the field. Not even close. Had a really good final hurdle. And it's going to be a photo finish for second. That the Team Rainbow wins. Team Rainbow will get second. And the Infernos get third. Icebreakers will just miss out in the podium. But it's a really good start. Shadow Runners get the gold. And start off well in these four events. Remember, the bottom four will be eliminated and will not compete in the Season 7 qualifiers. See the standings. Gilded Glitters get last. Not what they hoped. Beach Balls, new team, getting 15th. Not a good start. Now on to block bumping. Heat 1, the Fruity Flyers, Beach Balls, Yellow Jackets, and the Caramelka Lighters. And they're off. 
And it's going to be the Colliders who get the win. Push it the farthest. And Yellow Jackets will get second and advance. Just barely. Over the Fruity Flyers. They're all really close together. Team Rainbow, Infernos, the Gilded Glitters, and Team Prism. And they're off. Gilded Glitters fast to the gate, but I have a terrible push. Meanwhile, Team Prism pushes it the farthest, and they will advance. They're getting out around 15. We're at a good push from them. Infernos gets second. Oh, just short of 15 for Team Prism. A 14 9 8. Heat 3, the Icebreakers, the Purple Swirls, the Orange Angels, and the Phoenix Force. And they're off. And a really good push for the Phoenix Force. They hit the blocks last, but push it past 16. That is a really good push from the new team. Showing some strength. The 16 17. That is the farthest push we've seen yet. Heat for the Shaw Sharks. Team Terra. Battle Bees and Shadow Runners. Who won the first event? And it'll be the Shaw Sharks winning this heat. The newcomers. Get it? Shadow Runners continue good form by getting second. Team Terra. Oof. Not a good push. 9 4 9. That's going to be last. Showing a little bit of their old form there. They had a terrible off-season tournament, which they fired their coach. But on to semi-final A. Caramel Colliders, Infernos, Phoenix Force, and the Shadow Runners. And they're off. All neck and neck. This is the Infernos who push it really far and will advance to the final. Coming up around 15 and... Oh, it's really close, but the Shadow Runners will just barely inch out the Caramel Colliders get into the final. On a semi-final will be the Yellow Jackets, Team Prism, the Purple Swirls, and the Shaw Sharks. And they're off. Okay, Team Prism gets fast down there. They won't get it. That'll be the Shaw Sharks and the Yellow Jackets getting really close together there, but Yellow Jackets will win the heat with a 13-3-1. Shaw Sharks will also advance to the final. To the finals. Shadow Runners, Yellow Jackets, Infernos, and the Shaw Sharks. Infernos down to quicker. Yellow Jackets push it out by them. Who's going to get the win? It's close. It's hard to tell from here who got the win. And just by an inch, it'll be the Yellow Jackets. Not even an inch. Less than that. 13-4-9 to 13-4-4. By a hair, the Yellow Jackets get the gold. Infernos get disappointed to get the silver. And the Saw Sharks getting their first ever medal with a bronze. Very close finish at the end there. Way to finish out the first half of the qualifiers. Shadow Runners do hold the lead, but the Infernos are just two points back. Yellow Jackets jump up into third with that gold. We'll see you later for event 10 of the season 6, the Moguls. Until next time, see ya.